All right, everybody. So we're here on Painted Desert. We're starting off with, I, if I'm not mistaken, this is the semifinals of season five, season 25, RTSL Clan League. Okay. So we have AOLs. That's us. Bruh. Ching ching. I could, or exactly, Barb. Exactly. <laughs> Cheers, bro. Ching ching. Anyways, so we have AOLs against um, against TSM. Okay, so let me go through the gods and then I'll, I'll introduce, well, I can introduce the players. As if you've been watching so far, you know, Recon, me, and Berserker, we are the main players for AOL in this season. And TSM, for TSM, we have Zaninia, player, and Fen. A lot of you probably recognize the name player. Player plays a lot with Zaninia. And Fen, Fen is, Fen's been gone for a couple of years. It's 2022, Fen's been gone for a few years, but he used to be a, a really good Zeus player in the community. So if you're if you're a little bit of an older player, you would remember the name Fen. Um, but anyways, you should, you probably recognize player. Player doesn't play as much these days. Um, in fact, pretty rarely these days, but anyways. You should recognize some of these names. You should probably recognize these games. Or names, names, sorry, these names. So let's introduce the gods. You already saw we're on the Painted Desert uh, map, everybody. So we have Recon in the blue. Recon's playing Thor. So we got a lot of Norse in the AOL roster these days. We got a, er, back in 2015. We got a lot of Norse. So Recon sticking with Thor, sticking with Thor. I, once again, I'm in the pocket in the purple, playing Thor, playing Thor, double Rhino, sick. Okay, and then we have Berserker up on the top flank, playing Zeus. So we got Thor, Thor, Zeus on the AOL side. On the TSM side, bottom side pocket, again, Fen, a fairly popular, I'd say a fairly prominent Zeus player back in the day. Um... Yeah, for TSM. So yellow in the in the yellow, we got Fen playing Zeus, and we have Zaninia playing Aranos here in the pocket, and then up top we have Player again, very strong, very very strong, renowned um, Zeus player. Player is kind of like uh, Themis Junior. Um, if you guys know Themista, uh, Themis, Themista, whatever you want to call him, Mista, kind of like Mista Junior. Um, doesn't quite have the prominence of Mista, but definitely has the caliber. Um, you know, definitely has a, a similar, a, a near, a close caliber to Mista at player's best. Player's super solid, crazy solid. Uh, Zeus player, really good, really, really good. So, Zeus, Aranos, Zeus, against Zeus, Thor, Thor. Okay. Um... Theoretically, on this map, you know, there's back, there's back hunt, back gold mines. Usually, back TCs. Recon's TC is a little jacked up. Usually, anyways, usually back TCs, back TC, forward TC. Um, yeah, pretty standard map. So we're gonna let's fast forward through classical. We'll get um, or through archaic. We'll get classical and get into this game. Okay, so yep, RC coming out for me, of course, as the pocket Thor. We got, what do we got from Berserker? Lots of gold, eight on gold for Berserker. Excuse me? What is happening here? What is Berserker doing? I don't remember this game. I played in this game, but it was seven years ago. I don't remember this game. So he's going for two TC play, okay. With three vills, maybe five vills building the TC, okay. Um, I suppose that makes sense um, against player who is also actually interesting. So player, Player is going, let's see, he went Athena. Interesting, player went Athena? Zeus. And a 3v3 fairly open map. That's peculiar. I think that's very peculiar. And he's going to hip, Athena Hippican? Okay. Ouch, Berserker losing his Catascopos there, ouch. Peculiar, anyway, so 2TC for Berserker, he's got five bills on it, okay. I'm going, you know, pocket as a pocket player. I'm going for RC. No big surprise there as a Thor player, of course. Nice harassment there by Zaninia. She might even get a Vil pick there. Ooh, nice, uh, nice shockwave, not shock, nice shockwave. Yeah, she's probably. Oh, <gasps> she didn't get the Vil pick. Sick for me. Good for me. Good for me. Hallelujah. 
Okay. And then Recon. Recon's going for RC as well. Okay. Let's go check out Fen. Fen also going Athena. Interesting. Interesting. So this was 2015, people. This was 2015 meta. Hippican Hop Athena against, in a team game situation, Thor Thor Zeus. Against Thor Thor Zeus. Very peculiar here. Very, very interesting here. Uh, okay. Okay. And then Zaninia is a Thor player, or sorry, a Ranos player. Of course, she's going to go Terma Merm. No surprise there. No surprise there, right? No surprise there. Okay. <clears throat> well, okay. That's a fourth longhouse for me. Continued pressure on my forward hunt for Zaninia. Okay. Berserker, just booming. Booming on the top side. Okay. He's got that back hunt. He's got that wall on that top side. He's got the, you know... Yeah. Fairly secure base. Player. Chilling. Maybe not chilling necessarily, but, you know... One hot... One stable, one military academy. Okay. Okay. A little bit peculiar, but it looks like all three players are going over towards Recon side. Mine and Recon side of the map. Okay. Again, Recon going for lots of RC. Maybe not lots. Some RC. Some RC. I'm going for, you know, mass RC. And a handful of Ulfsarks. I suppose that's to defend against the Zaninia. Okay. See, hey, you see, you see, guys, even back in 2015. Old Sarks, Old Sarks against, you know, Aranos. Not a nobody was really doing that back then. Of course I'm not going pure Old Sarks and I'm not going Odin again, you know, Old Sarks, but still. What am I doing? It is basically a 3v1, and I am taking this fight like an idiot. There's Berserker, okay. There's Recon, okay, but still, I engaged in that way too early. Wow. Looks like I'm gonna catch Zanina's units, okay. Okay, so Berserker and Recon. Oh, man. <laughs> I agree, Cuddy. Berserker and Recon coming to help, okay. So that was a decent fight. For AOL to take. That was a decent fight. Okay, so not as bad as it should have been. As it would have, would have, should have, would have, could have been, okay. Recon's going for a second TC. No additional town centers for the TSM people. Uh, they are still being a little bit aggressive on me. Okay. Okay. The good thing for us is that we have more mobile units, whereas they're going hoplites. I mean, hoplites, man, yeah, they're not ultra slow. 4.7 speed. They're not all that fast either. Okay. And they're going to get a longhouse. They're going to get a longhouse of mine. Nothing too crazy. Not serious damage. I'm still on some nice hunt with an idol villager. Good job, me. Playing some defense. Okay, sure. Okay, sure. Things are okay. Things are okay. Um, yeah. Berserker's eco is untouched at this point in time. Two, CC, two TC untouched eco. Fen with a nice uh, Fen with a six score lead there. What's that all about? Double hoplites. Ooh, getting uh, getting Sarisa. There's hack armor. Okay, Hippicans. There we go. Okay. I mean, okay, these guys aren't really doing anything with their army. They're being aggressive, but they're not really creating damage here. It's not like they're preventing a TC. It's not like I mean, yes, it's not. We're not trying to get these. Forward TCs, Berserker and Recon, you know, I'm just starting to grab a TC there. I've been, I've been really slow with my TCs in these, in the DoD games and then now. Only with the one Wolf Sark getting the TCs. Pretty slow. Pretty slow. You know, whatever. Thanks for the follow, David. David Frag. Thanks for the follow, dude. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Forward TC for Zanina. Uh, yeah, six, six, uh, ooh, six ra medium raiders. Not gonna be able to stop that. Not, not at all. Not at all. Okay. In fact, I just run right by it. Okay. Okay, now players all the way over on Recon. You see, I don't know if this is a good idea. Because they're these these guys are attacking. They attacked me. 
I'm on one TC. Okay, that makes sense. Recon just barely taking his second TC. Okay, it makes sense to go. You know, he just barely took his second TC. He's been one TC most of this time. But you'd think that they would want to attack a Berserker so that he was... He took that instant second TC. He's going to have the huge eco advantage. If they leave Berserker alone... Again, I really don't know. This this is a best of five. I don't remember who wins what game. I don't know if we if AOLs win or lose this game. Thanks for the follow, Parzval. You just joined. Can someone fill you in, please? Um, we're casting old RTSL games, Parzval. Old R RTSL games. So back in 2015, uh, my clan AOL we were seriously participating in the RTSL league. Um, and so we're going to cast three series from um, Season 25. So we earlier tonight, we casted um, AOL against DoD Clan. Okay, so... Okay, so there's a ceasefire. I presume to save that TC for recon. Yeah, looks like it. Anyway, so we're going to be casting this. What we're casting right now is Season 25 semifinals, if I'm not mistaken. How they do the brackets and blah 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 they host everything on the rtsl website so it's a little i don't know I'd, I'd maybe have to go and try and find the old brackets to see to verify if this is the um semi-finals or not i'm pretty sure it is it's either the quarterfinals or semifinals. anyways yeah so there you go anyways okay so oh wow berserker so berserker has his three tcs but he's also going forward to take players forward tc which is a and he's apollo i'm telling you man i'm telling you they have not touched berserker's economy um and so he took the two tcs right you know right from the beginning so if he, if they're not careful all three of the tsm players went one tc um i'm up on three tcs i'm up on three tcs recon is still on two tcs one and a half TCs. <laughs> Fen with the restoration. Okay. Okay. Recon with the flaming weapons. Okay. Oh, going with the flank, I guess, with his raiding cavalry. Okay. Okay. Where am I? What am I doing? I'm way over here raiding player. Okay. I guess that's not all too shabby. Okay, it's a big fight here. An additional restoration. Two restorations and a flaming weapons here. Wow. Okay, there we go. I got some infantry here. I got some infantry here. Okay. Which god am I playing? I'm in the purple, Parzival. I'm in the purple, purple playing Thor. In general, I'm a Norse player. I like the more aggressive raider, gorilla type gods. Okay, so Recon lost his TC. He lost his CC and he used his flaming weapons, but both the Zeus players used their restorations. And you know, this this nice back line of Berserker with the Centaurs and the Tox, they're doing pretty damn well against the Zeus armies. You play Thor as well? Fuck yeah, bro. You're gonna see plenty of Thor in these RTSL games, bro. Plenty, plenty, plenty of Thor, man. Zaninia just up through Thea, okay. We got Fen about to take a third TC. Player is over here on two TCs. Zaninia is on three TCs. Okay. Again, Berserker taking the forward TC of player. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. You might learn some tips. It's hard to learn some tips in, you know, 3v3 games, but sure, man. Sure. Recon taking a second and third TC. Okay. So he's coming back. Berserker's looking great. He's helping us win fights with those centaurs and talks for sure. He's got that fourth TC. I'm sure he's probably on his vill limit at this point in time. Yeah, he's already up a Festus. He's going to be up a Festus at what, like maybe 17 minutes or so. Um, on four TCs, which is good news for him. Good news for AOL. Although player, that does give player an opportunity. A small opportunity here to maybe push in hard. Uh, Berserker's army is over here on the south side. Um, with recon, so it does give player a window of opportunity to try and take this TC. And he's going for it, man. He's going for it. Medium hops, okay. He's going for it. And it looks like he's going to get it, actually. We've got Masons coming in for Berserker, right, in this same TC. But that thing's going down. That thing's definitely going down. So player probably going to be able to get his TC back. But Berserker's going to be Mythic through Hephaestus super quickly. 
Um, you know, player still, yeah, player still even, he's not quite po at his vill pop limit yet, so he's still getting there. Um, yeah, over on this other side, Recon is going to be up to three TCs here in just a second. He's doing just okay against Fen. Fen, I haven't quite seen, let's check the, yeah, Fen's still in Classical. Fen and uh, Player are still in Classical, whereas Berserker, Berserker's going Mythic. Um, Recon's already heroic. Um, I'm I'm just booming. I got three TCs going for the boom and the you know Ragnarok play potentially. Um, yeah, three Battleborns. That's enough to maybe push on this TC. Although there is an Inya here, so maybe if maybe if Recon and I can coordinate here against Fen, that could be nice. That's a lot of hoplites, man. That's a lot of hoplites. Although apparently I'm more interested in helping Berserker keep his advantage over on that other side. Which I suppose makes sense. If it, player player is kind of their top level player. Player is their top level player, you know, for the TSM. Of course, Fen is a super strong player himself. Zanina, you know, really experienced in her team games. Looks like I'm gonna lose a TC. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, so you know, making sure the Berserker has that advantage against player. I suppose that's a good. I suppose that's a good idea. Making sure, or you know, heading back over to this side to attack Fen would probably be a good idea for me. You know, making sure. Shit, twenty-four medium hoplites with Sarissa. That's nice. To go TC rating, I suppose. That's nice. Okay. Should play fast a little bit. Berserker's pushing in here. I mean, check this out. He's starting to push in and even build forward buildings, military buildings against players. So player is looking pretty sketchy over here. If you look at the score, like Berserker's up at 4,100, 2,300 for players. So player's definitely in kind of some, he's in a sketchy position for sure. Um, you know, down a TC, down positionally, he's down. TC, he's down. TC numbers, he's down. Fen has some potential to do with- wow, what the fuck just happened over here? I guess Berserker, that looks like Berserker's armor that he just attacked uh, Fen's uh, hoplites. Okay, that's not a bad- that's not a bad use of the- uh, of the- um, of Berserker's army. Considering that it's a team game, you want to make sure that, you know, the other side over on Recon's side. You don't want to make sure Recon doesn't lose on his side. Same with me. Same with me, of course. ATTACK HIM! What am I doing? There we go. Good job, me. Good job. All right, good job, me. Good job, me. Okay, this is looking good for AOL. This is looking really good for AOL. Um, over on the bottom side, like, yes, Fen might be, you know, Fen is on three TCs. Um, you know, Recon and I are on three TCs. Um, but kind of, so there's a potential big Ragnarok that I have coming, but also Berserker. I mean, Berserker, for the love of God, he's just sitting in the base of player. Zeus against Zeus, that's really good news. So the big, you know, the big good news for AOL is, you know, Berserker is in such an advantageous position over here. Such an eco advantage. Like, look at all these farmers that are idle at this point in time. There's some farmers over here. There's a market going up. Okay, so there's a fastest going up for, you know, player, but still. He is in a crazy disadvantaged position. He's just barely going to Festus, and there's all a, already a Helopolis and army in his base. Okay, I'm able to push against, you know, there's even a, yeah, I'm able to push against uh, Zanania. I presume, I mean, I've been on three TCs for quite a while. I presume I got a mythic timing coming. I got the market going. So yeah, I'm sure there's probably mythic coming in for me. If not, then I'm feeling a little bit greedy and just going for um, the, uh, the vill numbers. The vill numbers, of course, okay. Yeah, Recon's up through Balder. Recon's up through Balder, but check out, check out Player. Player's toast, baby. Player is toast. Down his main TC. This Vortex from Zanina, that ain't gonna do shit. Yeah, and Player just calls it. Player just calls it. There we go, Fan and Zanina. There we go. Ayo! AOL taking game number one, baby. AOL taking game number one. Um... I don't know. I mean, the fact that Berserker was untouched, his economy was untouched, and, you know, Recon, they went aggressive against Recon and, you know, particularly me early on. They went aggressive against me, but they didn't really do much. They, like, killed, they killed this longhouse. They killed, 
you know, this TC of a Raycon, but they didn't really do a whole lot, you know? And so eventually, eventually just economies kick in, Berserker, Berserker's looking great, he gets into an advantageous position against a uh, player, and boom, I guess that's all she wrote, you know? Oh, shoot, I accidentally clicked the X instead of the little thing to look at the post game. Sorry, no post game this time, people. Sorry, no post game. Okay, we are in game, whoops, I forgot to unpause it. We are in game number three, two. We're in game number two, game number two, everybody. AOL against TSM. If I'm not mistaken, this is the semifinals of the season 25 RTSL Clan League. Yeah, so far, um, game one, Paint a Desert. AOL won against, you know, TSM. Yeah, so let's introduce, uh, let's introduce the gods. Um, we have me, yours truly, hmm. Um, playing in the teal on the bottom. I am playing Thor. Yeah, baby. You're gonna like that, Mr. Parzival. Um, we got Recon, also playing Thor. That's all for you, Parzival. Um, in the pocket, here in the red. And then we got Berserker up here in the, uh, on the top side, playing Loki. So we're going pure Norse here. Loki, or sorry, Loki, Thor, Thor. Yeah, Loki, Thor, Thor. Um, yeah, I think that's, that's a common... This is a go common god combination that you guys are going to see in these games that AOL plays in this uh, in this um, in 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 this in this tournament in this tournament. Players here, indeed, Madara, indeed, we got the famous player. Um, back when player, I mean, player was you know still super solid back in you know back in 2015. These season 25. This is season 25 played in 2015. I know you guys have heard me. Those of you that are watching live, we've you know we've said that many a time, but you know I'll say it again. Each these are since these are going up onto YouTube. Anyways, so again for the AOLs we got Loki, Thor, and Thor. Let's go over to the TSM side. We have the same players, Fen, Zaninia, and Player. Um, okay, so we got Fen on the bottom side playing as Zeus. No surprise there. We got Player in the pocket, also playing Zeus. And then we have Zanina on the top side playing Arano. So it's the same matchup as the previous... No, 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 it's not the same. Because Burst are Zeus in the last game. Okay, so it's the same as the previous game, except Berserker is Loki this game instead of Zeus. Anyways, so on the top side, we have Berserker, Zeus, sorry, god, hell. Berserker, Loki, there we go. So many gods, so many players, so many games. Berserker, Loki against... Um, Zaninia Aranos. And on the bottom side, we got Thor, me, against Fen, Zeus, and then again, Thor, Pocket, and Zeus, Pocket. Is player, TSM player, um, Mr. Purple guy here, is TSM player the same level of, as Mista? Um, I would say no, Madara. I would say no. Player is kind of like the little brother of Mista. Mista is definitely on another level of gaming, uh, competitive games. He's played competitive AOT, competitive StarCraft 2, competitive Age of Empires Online. I'm not, I think he's played maybe other RTS games. Now he's having a lot of success as a top player in Age of Empires 4. Um, Mista is definitely on another level. So player is a, player is really strong. Zeus player. Um, but yeah, he's not, he's not quite the level as Themis. Not quite there, not quite there. Anyway, so, um, the one thing I want to point out for, we're gonna fast forward into classical back TCs. That's the main thing I want to point out. We have back TCs. Aside from Berserker, if you see on this, uh, on this side right here, Berserker has a back TC, but it's up, up here on top. It's a little bit exposed up here. And same thing with Fen down here on this bottom side. Like this TC, Fen's TC may be a little bit better considering he's Zeus, considering this forest right here, etc. Fen's TC is maybe a little bit better than Berserker's on the opposite side, but both players, most of the TCs are defensive and in the back. Aside from these two flanks, Berserker and Fen, they they have these kind of side-ish, forward-ish harassable TCs. So um, you know, depending on what Zanini does, even though Loki, Berserker's Loki, and this is patch 1. Point, Vubli patch 
no, no, 1.05. Um, you know, so by all means, at this point in time, now in 2022, we're at patch 5.0 on Vubly. So many changes have happened, you know, at this stage of the game. But still, Loki against Arano is still really favorable for Loki at this, you know, even back in 2015. So I'm not too concerned. Again, I can't, even though I played in this game, it was seven years ago, I can't quite remember this game. I can't remember this game at all, actually. I have no idea who wins or loses this game. But anyway, so Berserker, I presume Berserker is going to have map control and he won't have a problem taking this TC. But if player maybe, you know, put some pressure on Berserker as well, in addition to Zaninia, maybe they can prevent Berserker from taking that forward TC. Um, you know, we'll see what I can do against Fen and his forward TC. We'll see. Um, but, you know, in the short term, that's kind of the big caveats. Oh my god, look at all these giraffes. Berserker top five? Mm, no. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. Back back in 2015? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know, but I would say no. Berserker's a really good player. Um, he's a top vanilla player. Maybe n Berserker's a top vanilla player when he is active. Maybe not necessarily a top vanilla player of all time. Um, but, you know, Berserker's definitely solid, but, yeah. To the bang, Kali. To the bang. To the bang para America. <laughs> Anyways, K, okay, so Recon getting the walls up. Lots of defense here for Recon. Even I'm getting some walls up here. This is a very random looking wall, but, you know, fuck it. Let's get the wall up, baby. Okay, get some walls up here, here. Okay, so I got some walls up. I got some walls up. Again, for those of you guys that have watched, you know, me play a lot, at least, you know, within the last couple of years. Walling is not a big thing that I do. So, you know, evidently I was taking this game these these RTSL games seriously. <laughs> okay. Anyways, okay, let's get into this game. So Berserker put a little bit of pressure on Zanina early. But that has been, you know, so far, that's been kind of mitigated, so to speak. Um, you know, we got Fen over here with a little bit of some action. Nothing crazy, nothing crazy. Hey, hey, I got the ghost build going. Woo, good job, me. Good job, seven-year-old me. Yeah. Okay, so I suppose I'm, go I'm going Hall of Fame. So two, uh, it looks like I'm getting two three longhouses with um rc but i started off with hall of thanes for seti which i suppose makes sense against um zeus with the potential to go centaurs looks like we are well we are walled up fairly well this is still open right here for me on my side but you know looking over between recon and i we have almost a f ourselves fully walled you know there's a space here up on the top side between berserker and recon sure there's a space here, but for the most part, we're pretty walled up. We're pretty walled up. Same thing with Fen, getting some walls up. Similar thing with Fen, rather. Getting some walls up, getting some walls up. Okay. Player going 2TC as Zeus. I think that's just fine for him. He's got that, I th that's a little bit ballsy, actually, with uh, with the really aggressive civilizations, pure Norse, and the forward uh, giraffes for him. A little bit ballsy, but no problem, I suppose, no problem. He's just fine. He's got a good amount of gones. Good amount of food eco right here. Three stables, interesting. Three stables and two TCs, okay? Okay. Yeah, go me! Woohoo, me! Okay, getting some getting some pressure here. Good job, me. Don't lose that hearse here. Come on, Bjarni Light Flicker. Let's see what you got. Aha, uh -huh. see what I'm saying? Fen, yeah. I'm, I'm, I mean, Fen taking the early second TC here. Good play, I think. I think this is smart by the TSMs to go a little bit boomier. The TCs are, are defensive, so there's not as much benefit of going aggressive. Um, you can see I'm taking a second TC as well. Recon's taking a second TC as well. It makes sense upon the top side, Berserker, Loki against Uranus. It makes sense for Berserker to go one TC, more aggressive, more active. <clears throat> Whereas, you know, the Zeus players, um, you know, going more defensive, boomy. That makes sense which sort of obligates, you know, um, Recon and I as Thor players to match their boom as well. 
Um, if the Zeus players aren't careful, there could be some big time with three back TCs. There could be some big time Ragnaroks in their future. We'll see. Nice. More raiding by me. Go me. Go me. Woo. Veil kills, baby. Got him. Can I get another one? Come on, please get another one. Come on. Come on, me. Am I going to get it that one? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I could get two if I wanted to. I could get two if I wanted to. I could get two if I wanted to. I'm going to get one. Please get one. No. Come on. What am I doing? I could have got... I could have got all three of those, man. With some micro, I could have got all three. Oh, That's okay. I'll get him. Don't you worry. I'll get him. Soon enough, I'll get him. Okay, Zanina getting some abuse going against Berserker. Okay. Okay. Nothing too concerning, but, you know, I see some blue happening over here. I see some blue happening. Perser I know, Parzival. I know. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. Honestly, I do not remember this game at, at, in the slightest. Ooh, nice job, me. I don't remember this game at all. I have no idea how this game goes. This is like watching a brand new game, and I just happen to be in it. I have no idea what is happening in this game. Nice raid by Recon here. I don't know if he's going to get a veil kill. Maybe get a veil kill, but, you know, causing some idle time. So it's a successful raid. Nice. Fen's got plenty of goads, so it's not like he, it's, it's not that big of a deal. It's not like he's trying to drop farms right now, but, you know, whatever. It's abuse. It's abuse. We'll take it. We'll take it. Careful me, careful me. Good job, player. Getting some nice, uh, some nice HP damage here on those, uh, on my RC. Okay, gets a kill even. Gets a kill. Six, six, six. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Okay, recon. Recon's gonna be up to three TCs here shortly. Okay, okay. No additional TC for me. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Second TC for Zanini on this top side, and Berserker did get heroic. I should maybe pay a little bit more attention up to this top side, um, because Berserker's up heroic. Same with Zanini. Zanini go with Stymphalian, or Thea for Stymphalian birds, which is nice. Berserker actually has four trolls here. I don't know if the I don't know if he built those, trained those, or if they are spawns from his hearse here. But Zanini, okay. Yeah, this is definitely a good fight for Berserker to take here. No problemo. There's a lot of uh, a lot of Terma. Pick off those uh, Mermillo and then clean up the Terma. No problem. Actually, what the hell? These man, I'm telling you, these these Mermillo, the Mermillo of Aranos. Once you upgrade those Mermillo, they are surprisingly good against Loki, Hersir. Not Loki Hersir, any Hersir, just Hersir in general. Hersir in general. Interesting usage of Shockwave, I guess. If you're if you're playing against Loki as a Ranos, where are you gonna use the Shockwave, you know? Okay. Maybe could have got she maybe could have got some damage on the battle boards, but you know, okay. Okay. Berserker getting a second TC up. I just advanced through heroic. I'm getting a third TC up. Best myth unit in the game? That's impossible to answer, Raxolo. Whoa. So Raxolovo. Raxolo -wo. Rack solo W. <laughs> Third TC coming up for player. That's an impossible question to ask because there's like, it's an impossible question to answer because there's like a best myth unit based on their stats, which would be maybe like, you know, a Colossus or a Fire Giant or something like that. Purely on their stats. Or maybe a Medusa. Maybe Medusa for use, or a Mummy for using their special attack. Maybe, a, you know, maybe a battle bore for how, if you know, effective those can be. But, like, it depends on, because you have to consider their stats, you have to consider their practical usage. You know, like a, like a mountain giant. Mountain giants are good units, but practically speaking, mm, you know, they're very, very situational. Very, very situational. Heroic, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, like Frost Giants. Frost Giants are super sick. They got, they're pretty strong. Plus they got really great, um, uh, the special attack. Yeah. Oh, Hadam, that's your favorite upgrade. Or, okay, I gotcha, I gotcha, I gotcha. 
Okay, apparently I'm trying to drop a couple of forward uh, hill fords to try and secure the gold mine, I suppose that is? Chimera? Well, I mean, yeah, it depends on how you use the Chimera. Chimeras could just be nothing. Chimeras could be sick. Wow! What? Recon going for a 14-minute Balder? Rather, 14-minute Ragnarok. Balder and Ragnarok. Okay, just so he doesn't lose a couple of wood wood choppers, I suppose that is. That's a little bit surprising. Okay. You want to see the finals of AOM 1v1 tournaments that I consider impressive? <laughs> roll, roll. <laughs> All I'll tell you, man, watching watching Matrius play a set mirror against Hagrid, that was I that's prob that's the game that sticks out in my mind as impressive. I was very impressed in um Matrius. I don't I can't remember which meta plays tournament it was. Um but Matrius playing set against Hagrid's set on Marsh was super sick. Super sick. Super sick. And that was just, you know, a month ago or so. Anyways, okay, so Recon's got Ragnarok. I'm still booming, although I'm getting raided by player, which is nice for player, but he does have a Ragnarok coming into his face. Um, you know, I'm there in defense, okay. So I think here's what I'm anticipating. I'm anticipating Recon going Ragnarok. Um, it's gonna do some damage, and then I'm gonna follow it up with Berserker's gonna use flaming weapons. I'm going to follow it up with another Ragnarok to kind of finish the game. That's my assumption. That's my anticipation. I'm not sure. Roscoe. Oh, Oscar. Oh, I see it, Raxo. I see, I see, I see. Yeah, okay. Raxo, oh, well. Oh, well. Oh, well, oh, well, Oscar. <laughs> okay, so ceasefire from player. Ceasefire from player. Do we have... On the Zeus players, we have... Okay, so there's Hippospis just barely starting to come out from Orphan from one military barracks. Maybe... Yeah, here's another military barracks that he could get out. Oh, interesting. A, okay, so a Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm from... Uh, from player on the... On Recon's uh, Ragnarok, okay. Okay, okay. Well, still, I maintain my assumption that here we're gonna have... Okay, so I'm building forward. I mean, Berserker... Has Berserker used his flaming weapons? No, he has not. Fen has an additional ceasefire. That's probably why. So Recon, Berserker, and I, all three of us went braggy, shit. All three of us went braggy, okay? And they only have two ceasefires, which is a little bit funny, but okay. So Berserker's gonna get the forward position against the Nina. Right, oh, she's going heck eight. She's going heck eight. And hot damn, hot damn is actually JJ Maddox. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me, dude? I didn't even think of that. Hot damn, JJ Maddox. I see it. I totally see it now. Bro, I can't call you J- I thought it was a play on God damn. Like, God damn, JJ! Like, if you're a fan of Chrono JJ. God damn, JJ! <laughs> okay. JJ. Bro, I can't call you JJ, man, because Chrono is JJ. Although I don't call Chrono JJ. I call- Chrono, Chrono. Okay, wow! An additional lightning storm on Recon. So Recon's Ragnarok has endured two uh, thingamabobbers, uh, lightning storms. Yeah. Wow, okay, so we lost a TC. TSM Fen is down on TC. Player may be gonna lose his TC as well. I am attacking it. Berserker is gonna get Zanina's uh, TC here. I put I put so much effort into saying it. Indeed, <laughs> indeed. So Berserker uses flaming weapons. He's either gonna take a good fight or he's gonna force the ceasefire of Fen, and which allows him to take the TC. We do have a player in here preventing the TC, and Zanina's uh, Mermillo. I'm telling you, man, heavy Mermillo. If you're an Aranos player and you're playing against Forsetti, Mermillo are the way to go. 
Of course, eventually, if they're throwing Axemen, blah, blah, blah. But Mamelo against Hersier are the way to go. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Okay. Okay. So that TC is down. Player kept his TC. Okay. Okay. I'm walling up. We got... Hey! 2015 chemo, motherfuckers. 2015 chemo. And there's Balder, baby. There's Balder. And I have no trade. Okay. No problem. Can I borrow 1,200 points so I can use a laugh? <laughs> I got you, bro. I got you. I got. Do I have a laugh? I actually don't have the laugh. I don't have a laugh, little soundbite. Um, Z Dub, sorry. I was gonna use it for you. All right, so Zanino up on the top side. She's down this. She's down her second TC. She's down her main TC, which was blocked by Berserker. Okay, but she still has one TC here. Let's see if, like, at this point in time, Berserker should just win the top side. Um, you know, Recon is reco slowly recovering from Ragnarok, which is fine. I have a potential Ragnarok coming, you know, pretty darn whatever, quick, maybe not quickly, but I have a potential Ragnarok which can happen. So, to actually, right now, this is good news for um, TSM, because TSM player is able to fight with Zaninia, 2v1 against Berserker. Um, yeah, of course, yes, there are still some Ragnarok heroes out here for recon. There's some units. Yes, yes, yes. But for the most part, Fen is playing against... Fen is playing against me, and I am preparing for Ragnarok. He's playing against kind of some defense against recon. Recon is finishing his Ragnarok, which allows Zanina and player to fight against Berserker. So this is good news uh, for TSM. E they even have the score lead. They even have the score lead. And now that I'm, I, I think I remember this game. I think I remember this game. Because of this forward position, I think I remember this game. I think I remember this game. I'm not 100% sure, but I think I remember this game. Anyways, I presume what I'm doing is getting some siege, probably some armory upgrades. Yep. And I will be using probably, maybe I'm getting Siege. Do I have any Siege? I don't know what that guy's doing. Maybe I'm getting preparing for, I don't know what I'm doing. I deleted an Oxheart, so I'm going to be using Ragnarok pretty darn soon. So we're going to have Ragnarok number two. Did we have, okay, so there still is one ceasefire. Um, Recon and I both have our flaming weapons, but we do still have one ceasefire, two... What are these things called? Underworlds and three Vortexes. So there's still a lot of god power potential for all, both teams. For both teams. For both teams. So let's see how fast I use my Ragnarok. You know, Fen's starting to push over here. So if I wait too long... Okay, there's my Ragnarok. There's my Ragnarok. Let's check my e armor upgrades. Almost full armory upgrades. Okay. Okay. Going up to the top side. Not... Sh okay. Sure. Let's see if TSM can survive the Ragnarok. Oh, I have Balderams. Okay, so I was going for Balderams. That's what it is. But I'm a noob, and I decided to lose half of my Rams. <laughs> okay. Okay. I don't think my Rag is going to do very much. I really don't think my Rag is going to do very much. That's my assumption. Because it's not like my Rag, it's not going to kill Fen. Fen is three TCs, he's got the Hippospis counter units, and it looks like I'm actually focusing up on this top side against the Uranus player, against the Nina. Which I suppose is technically... That's probably a good strategy for me, because I mean, yeah, she has three... She got her three TCs back, but they're unupgraded, she's, you know, barely in this game, blah blah blah. There are, however, a lot of Hippospis for player. Fen can make a lot of Hippospis himself. He's got this position here down on this bottom side to interrupt trade, etc. to push from. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to do very much against player, or er, against Fen. In fact, I'm just going to lose my Balderams, that's what I'm going to do. Shame on me, shame on me. Okay, well I get a TC down, okay. I get a TC down, I get two TCs down technically, I get two TCs down. Berserker's starting to push up on this top side, which is good news for us. So, Fen's starting to take the middle, which is bad news. 
Uh, finish is fine. So up on this top side, again, that's the big caveat up on that top side. What Berserker is going to do, what Berserker can do against Zanino on that top side. And player and Zanino both, it seems like they're doing a great job defending. Because Berserker's pushes have been, you know, squelched, if that's a word, squelched. My Ragnarok, you know, I'm, I'm, my rag. <gasps> oh! Imagine more special attacks from the Fire Giants. That'd be so sick. That'd be so sick. Come on, man. Yeah. So I wonder what the difference would have been if I focused all of my Ragnarok on Fen, all of my Rams, all of my Ragnarok heroes, everything onto Fen. I wonder how the game would have been different. Now, Fen is able to go for a rag, uh, Titan Gate. Um, I think that Recon had a nice early Ragnarok, but I waited too long for my Ragnarok. That's what I think. I think I waited too long, and I didn't use it very well. It's nice that I took out the TC. It allows Berserker to have a little advantage up on this top side, but Fen is looking good on the bottom side. Fen is looking pretty good on the bottom side. I think I can 1v1 Fen. Zeus has the save advantage against Thor um, at the, you know, in the late game stages, sure. But I think I can 1v1 against Fen long enough that maybe this was enough, you know, pain against Zanina to maybe give him an advantage. I mean, he's got, he's got Fire Giant Ballista. Are you kidding me? Check it out. Three, three, <laughs> three hill forts. Fire Giant Ballista. This is the push combo that you want as a Loki or Balder player. This is what you want right here, baby. This is exactly what you want right here. <clears throat> and the TC's going down. TC's going down. So I'm feeling good about the AOL. I mean, the AOL play, like, we just, the team, we just jumped back up to the score lead. TC is down for Zanina. We're looking good. This Titan Gate is a weird question that needs to be answered by uh, Recon and I. Same with Recon's um, Recon's forward forward building spam. Although at this point in time, Recon did I say Recon? Fen, Fen's forward building spam. It's starting to be pushed back by Recon, which I think is good news for AOL. Recon's back into this game. Looks like he's got his trade going. He's got his eco back. So I think Recon's back into this game, and he's starting to push out. Um, you know, I still I still have some Ragnarok going. I still have some... It looks like between Recon and I, we've pushed back most of Fen's map control. Is this a clan war? This is RTSL 25, Jeff. Uh, these games were played back in 2015. RTSL 25. So is it a clan war? Yes, the RTSL clan war. <clears throat> And we're fucking five beers deep, bro. We got number six. Just a skosh away, motherfuckers. What a treat. Um, bro, you already missed uh, AOL against DoD clan. Who wee You know, player is doing a killer job defending against or defending Zanina here. Player's doing a great job defending against Zanina. He's you know he's playing he's playing well. I think player's playing well. Trying to get some walls up, trying to prevent us AOLs from taking map control. You know, he stopped Berserker from taking this TC, or rather took it back, helped Zanina take it back. You know, he's helping the defense over on this top side. There's a Titan, there's a Titan here, like for Fen, there's a Titan here. And that's the thing with, I mean, the good news for AOL, AOL, if you look at the Fog of War, for let's just go to my point of view for example if you look at the fog of war we have 60 mm, percent of the map control maybe 60 ish percent of map control which is really good news like if you look at my position here i have forward building spam i need more forward building spam but i have some forward building spam which is good berserker has the forward building spam against the nino on the top side so strategically we have the position we have the good position but we need to just finish the game. We need to finish the game. That's what it comes down to. So let's see if Fen can defend against my pushes. Drive the beer pouring sound effect. Oh, bro, that's a good idea, Cuddy. That's a good idea. I don't, man. I don't. I'm going to write that down, Cuddy.
I wrote it down, dude. I wrote it down. That's a good idea. That's a real good idea. Anyways, looks like... Okay, so I got this TC down. Good for me. So these guys, uh, three, five, seven TCs to nine TCs. We have a TC down on either side. Okay. Good. I think this is a good underworld passage by, uh, player. Not sure where... Yeah, so that he can... Player can defend both sides. I think that's a pretty good, um, underworld passage by player. Portable rams are beasts. Well, the balder rams are beasts. They can be beasts, Parzival. They can be beasts. They can also be weak little paper units. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so there it goes. There goes the Titan. I suppose, if I remember right, I think maybe Recon. Recon deals with the Titan while I continue to try and push against Fen, if I'm not mistaken. Berserker's still struggling up on this top side. Like, Zanina's got two TCs, she's doing okay, she's doing okay, but still, player, player's doing great to try and hold on this top side. Like, check this out, one, two, three, four, sorry, that's not four, one, two, three, three heal forts, tower spam, etc. for Berserker. He's got the TC down, which is good, but he's still struggling just a little bit, still struggling to push through, to push into this position. Same thing with me. Same thing with me. Like, I got the position. I initially took the TC down, but I'm struggling to push through and finish off the, the, the push. Continue with the advantage. So, the TSM guys, well, players, and Nina's a girl. TSM players, like, they're, they're, they're doing, they're doing a good job. They're doing a good job. A vortex on the economy, and what is this palace? What is this palace? This is sick. I like this by Zanino, like some weird, she's just complicating the game here. Like messing around with Berserker's economy and then dropping this uh, palace here. She just complicates the game. She just complicates this. Like she could get some destroyers out, bust through that wall, bust through that, and then start pushing on Berserker's TCs and main base. Like there's some potential here with this palace. Or she, she, can, she can secure a gold mine, sure, sure, sure. Um, me on this bottom side, I need, I need towers. I need to, like, check this out. If I wall this shit, fuck the Jarls. I don't need Jarls. I need to just wall this shit and drop towers and ballista. That's what I need. That's what I need right here. Too many Jarls, too many Jarls, too many Jarls. Jarls. I'm willing to bet that my economy is, like, yeah, I got, I got a big economy. Okay, sure, there's like a Titan here that we're fighting against. Okay, fine. So we can excuse this, the Jarl, the Jarl's here. We can excuse this because this is happening, but still, but still, but still. Nice defense here by Fen, all the, all, all the towers. Nice defense, nice defense. Ooh, Recon's actually getting a sick back build here. So AOL, AOL should win this. AOL should win this. We've got so much harassment going on. We got a TC down kind of ish over here on this top side. I've got this the the positional advantage over here against Fen. You know, after the Titan goes down, which it's already at a third of its HP. You know, like 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 theoretically, strategically, AOL's looking good in this game. We just have to finish it out. We just have to finish it out. Cuddy. Cuddy. Listen to this. Listen to this. It's not loud enough. It's not loud enough. It's not loud enough. ASMR, baby. ASMR. One more. One more. Oh, Cuddy. This one is incredible. This is incredible, Cuddy.
That wasn't a pee sound, Madara. <laughs> that was opening a beer and pouring it into a glass. That's perfect, Cuddy. That's perfect. That thing was perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay, what's happening in this game? Bro, that was perfect. So it looks like T uh, Fen is probably going to get his TC back. Um, I was trying to pick off the Underworld so that I'm just 1v1 against player. Um, instead of playing against- or sorry, 1v1 against Fen instead of player and Fen. But that allows, you know, Fen to get his TC back. So, again, shut up. Shut up! What just happened? Wait, hang on. Berserker lost his entire forward base. Whoa! What? Berserker just lost his entire forward base. He's got whatever bullshit this is happening. There's a Titan Gate going up for TSM. Does TSM win this game? I can't remember. Like, here's the thing. AOL still has... There's still this Titan that's almost dead. Okay, the Titan's pretty much dead. So, TSM... Or AOL still has the map advantage here. But the fact that Berserker just lost all of his forward buildings here, that's sick. Like, to Zanina using the Siege by Ream right here on the little bit of water, that's super sick. Super sick, super sick. Picking off all those longhouses and then, you know, a handful, a couple, I suppose, of these um, hill force here. Super sick. Super sick. But still, where I'm pushing over here against Fen, Recon is back here in the back. We need to focus more on this back build back here by Fen, uh, Recon. So Recon's back here, trying to get some more back build action going, which is good. Very good. But still... On the top side, Berserker got pushed back all, uh, completely. And now he's got a Titan to deal with. Now he's got a Titan to deal with. So now the game is kind of swapped. A little switcheroo scheme, right, Cuddy? So now I'm the one with the walls and the non-existent towers and the fire giants and ballista that's pushing against, you know, down on this bottom side. But, and Berserker, Berserker's pushed back a little bit. So let's see if I can push here. What's up, Fondle? Bro, we're still in this game, dude. We're still in game number two. The bakery's closed. We might have to continue this series on Thursday because it's already... Oh my fuck, it's 11.20. Okay, I didn't realize that. It's 11.20. The switch of whiskey is OP. All right, so we're gonna... This is a long game. This is a long game. I remember that this is a long game, but not a, I didn't remember exactly how long this game. Did you miss anything? Well, we got up to the point, you know, we went through Ragnaroks and everything. I don't know. It's just, there's there's defensive TCs. It's, it's a long slog of a, of a game. That's really what it comes down to. We got a Vortex over here on this bottom side. Um, yeah, the Teal guy seems noobish. The Teal guy is ultra noobish. The Teal guy is ultra noobish. 7,000 gold and 100 food. Like, what the hell is that? What the hell is that? Come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, man! <laughs> Anyways, like, Recon's got the back build going, but... Like, Recon is forcing player... to focus on the back build, but he's not causing a lot of damage. At this point in time. Yeah, I agree, Madara. Late game Greek is super strong. Yeah. So let's see if Recon can get some siege action going. Because if he can start sieging down some of these TCs, and actually he's tried to. Like you can see, this is at half HP. So he almost got this back TC, or this main TC uh, player. And here comes some more boulder rams, okay? So, okay. So, I mean, Berserker is having a little bit of a rough time up on this top side. Again, he was Berserk was playing 2v1, sure. Um, but this backfield by Recon could be sick. Could be sick. Let's see if he can take down TCs. Oh. Oh, let's see if he can if he can take down TCs and get AOLs into an actual um, um, advantageous position. It's going for the TC. Going for the TC. Is it going down? Boom. Woo! Going down. And of course I'm going to be a biased caster in this game. You know, it's AOLs, it's it's my clan, it's games I played in, you know. Teal deserves Kopesh. <laughs> Although it looks like maybe with six vills, maybe this TC is just going to be retaken by player. Okay. But still, at the very least, it, re it requires, this forces player 
to play defensive, purely defensive in the back of their base against a Thor player, which gives Berserker the opportunity to go Loki against Uranus late game and me, you know, me, Thor against Zeus late game. Again, I have the good I have the good position, but you know, I'm still the the Zeus late game power is strong. Plus, there's a um, you know the Titan come over. Is Yellow Fiend from Extended Edition? No, no, no. This is Fen. Fen was Fen hasn't played in a handful of years. He was a really good Zeus player, you know, ten ish, ten five, ten years ago, something like that. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, it seems like we're we're doing a pretty good job. Like Berserker's been falling around this Titan, you know, uh, well enough. There's some Jarls here, etc. Looks like this Titan is going to be dead fairly quickly. And check it out, Mountain Giant raid. Oh Lord, look at those uh, Wood Villagers. Mountain Giant raid here for Berserker on this forward TC. Sick, you miss Fiend. Same here, bro. Fiend's a good guy. Fiend's a real good guy, man. So I mean, okay, so the Titans over here. There was the Vortex, there's the Titan to try and slow me down against Fen. Okay, sure, it's working well, but still, late game Zeus is strong as shit. The back build, man. The back build is still going strong by Recon, but the mass hoplites, ooh. The hoplites and the tox against the, you know, essentially just the Siege and the Ulcerx from Recon. Can we take this game? Can we take this game? What do you guys think? In fact, I'm curious, what do you guys think? Who's gonna win this game? Like, I mean, the Titan's almost dead, sure. The Titan's almost dead. But will the Zeus, uh, three Norse against Zeus or Serranos, will the Zeus late game win the game? He's a person who made you learn to play versus pre Siege. You remember you tower rushed against him, guy against his Isis? He said, what the fuck is this guy of gameplay? <laughs> I like that, dude. I like that. I actually was coaching Fiend a little bit back in the day, a couple of years ago. A little bit. I gave him some coaching sessions. It was nice. It was nice. He turned into a really solid player, man. See, Fiend turned into a real solid player. Okay, just dropping hill forts, baby. I'm just dropping hill forts. And I need towers. I wish I seven years ago would have dropped towers. I want more towers. The hill forts are sick, sure. I want towers after that. I want towers. I want towers. I want towers. I want towers. The Titan is still alive and kicking, sure. It's 400 HP. I'm not too worried about it. So at this point in time, I want towers. I want towers and ballista, baby. Towers and ballista and fire giants. That's what I want. And there, I'm prepping the towers. Sick, sick, sick. Berserker. Berserker again with the forward building. Okay, so Berserker is recovering up on this top side. Where is RSS? Uh, is that a clan, Marara? Is that a clan? RSS. You're not solid, you just know how to use most toxic strats. <laughs> you asshole. <laughs> anyway, so I'm a little bit surprised that Berserker's been struggling so much up on this top side. And, I mean, check it out, check it out, check it out. So, like, there's some action, some side build action up on this top side by Player and Zanina. And so they're starting to push in on Berserker's TCs. Are TSM coming back? If player can push on this top, and Zanina can push on this top side, player has villagers here. If player can sneak this TC and take this TC from Berserker, and if Fen can hold this, this TC on this side, TSM is gonna take this game. Like even though Recon is back here, they still have trade going. Okay, there's a TC down, okay. So who can push faster, harder, etc.? Recon in the back here, or player, etc. on this top side? Who can play the better defense? Zanina's missing a TC here, which she is taking right now with six bills, okay. TC is down for player, okay, so it's nine to five, seven bill, uh, TCs, okay, 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 but still. Ceasefire. Resignation from Fen. Resignation. Is it best of five? Yes, it is best of five. That's how the game ended? Why did the game end that way? <laughs> Mm. 
What? AOL goes up to zip. I guess Berserker defended against this on the top side. And I continued pushing on this bottom side. And, you know, the TC is down. Recon is taking this TC. I guess that's when TSM decided to throw in the towel. You know, suddenly just everything was okay, 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 okay. And then... It just, you know, suddenly, boom. Even though TSM, or sorry, Zanina was getting her TC back here. Okay, but still. Player lost this TC. Uh, you know, Fen was really struggling on this side. After the Titan, after Zanina's Titan was done, then, you know, I was looking good on this side over here. Let's look at the boss game real quick. Okay. This is not how I remembered it going, but okay. Not that I remembered it differently, but just I don't remember this series. I don't remember the series at all. Berserker had a nice KD. I had a negative KD. Player had a really nice KD. Recon had an awful KD. <laughs> wow. Well, there you go, everybody. AOL goes up two to zip.